what's going on guys welcome back to the channel today we're going to be talking about dash cams and uh, more specifically the fit cam x dash cam uh, now this is going to be replacing my black view which if you don't know anything about dash cams black view makes one of the best dash cams on the market um, also extremely expensive uh, anywhere from 250 dollars to almost 500 dollars depending on the one you get uh, but it is a fantastic dash cam. It is one that always works. It is one with a cloud service and an app that works flawlessly. Uh, fantastic products. Uh, but the FitCam X here, uh, I have a feeling is going to take the cake. It is half the price. It's about $190 uh, if you get just the front view. If you get the rear view, it's a couple bucks more. Um, don't know the exact amount, but the link will be down below for FitCam X, and they make integrated dash cams for all sorts of different vehicles. So we're gonna do a quick unboxing, talk about it a little bit, uh, then I will quickly install it, and then I will get some driving footage of the dash cam uh, so you guys can see the quality uh, both during the day and at night, and then we will wrap it up with my final thoughts. So let's break it open. All right, so let's break open the box. Uh, actually, but first, uh, this isn't a direct comparison to the Blackview, but I do want to mention the features, and a lot of them the Blackview does have. So this has an app that seems to work pretty good. Uh, it's got Wi-Fi, it's got your loop recording, G sensor, wide angle, the whole nine. So it's got all the works, and uh, this is exactly why I said that it is going to take the cake over the Blackview for this one simple feature. So this dash camera is totally integrated to the rear view mirror. This is the main trim piece that goes under the rear view mirror. And uh, as you can tell here, uh, this is the camera lens. I'm gonna leave this protective tape on there so that way I don't smudge it uh, when I go to install it. But here is the main piece right here. You've got your built-in camera. You've got an OEM-like trim piece that goes under the rear view mirror. So it's going to look super clean and I love going for a clean look. Uh, you're not going to have wires all over the place. You're not going to have a dash camera that's stuck to the window. Totally discreet. So super excited to get this thing installed because I just love a clean, simple look. And the best part is, is that it is plug and play. So you don't have to run wires. So over here on the side, you've got easy access in and out for the SD. Holy shit. Easy access to your SD card. And it comes with a 64 gigabyte SD card already installed. No extra charge. And on the bottom here, you've got a power button and a camera button, which is probably for still shots. So we'll go ahead and pop that SD card back in the slot. So quick, easy in and out if you wanted to uh, transfer your files to your computer. Otherwise, you've got the app as well, which you can transfer the files directly onto your phone from this. So like I said, it's got loop recording. So once the SD card fills up, it will just overwrite the data on the SD card. So here is the main piece. Everything looks OEM-like uh, as far as texture and just this whole trim piece in general. So you've got your camera plug right here. And then we've got more trim pieces. Uh, I will explain all this when I go and install it, but this is just gonna go here. And then you've got, of course, your typical user manual. And then we've got our plug and play harness. And they give you this SD to USB adapter, which is fantastic as well. Uh, not only do you get a 64 gigabyte SD card, but you also get this adapter. So if your computer does not have an SD slot, you've got this adapter to go from SD to USB. And then we've got a trim removal tool. And then we've got another molding. So that is it guys, that is everything you get. So let's go ahead and get this thing installed. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is remove Obviously, all these covers here. So basically, just gonna have to squeeze, squeeze this upper piece, and pull on the lower piece here. Remove that, just like that. Put it to the side, and then this lower piece, you just really have to try to move this mirror out of the way so you can see. But just grab a hold of it on both sides, kind of pull the two sides away from each other and pull down just like that. Just for reference, when we put the new one up, because it's gonna be really hard to film in there, um, 
I just want to show you guys what's going on in here so you have an idea of what to do when you install a new one. So you got a tab here and you got a tab here. There's a guide right here. There's a guide right here and then there's another one on the other side. So these two tabs have to go in those guides. And once you have it lined up, you just push it up and it will clip in on both sides. So like I said, it's gonna be really hard to film that, um, but I'll do my best. Uh, there's really no secret to it. You kind of just have to move it all around and you know, once you get it lined up, it will go up and in and snap in. So next we will grab the camera. Uh, and if you haven't already, attach your camera wiring to the plug and play harness that comes with the kit. And then we'll go ahead and unplug the existing plug from the mirror, just like that. There is a tab, you just push that up and pull it out. And we'll take the plug and play harness, plug that plug in to the harness, just like that. And we'll take the other plug on the harness and plug that back into the mirror. Just like that. And now we're ready to uh, put the camera up in here. So there should be enough room for all these wires. Just stuff them in. And then this is the hard part. This is the part where A, it's hard to film, and B, it's kind of hard to tell you what to do. You kind of just have to uh, feel your way Sometimes it helps um, if you move the mirror all the way up. You can kind of see where the tabs are to help you line them up. Make sure your wiring isn't in the way of those tabs. Uh, it's definitely easier to do this from the passenger side because you can see both sides. So just like that. So I recommend hopping in on the passenger side. Do that. It was way quicker. Um, and now once you have the lower piece in, you can go ahead and grab the upper piece and slide that up in there by the way this is sort of retractable um, moves up and down so push it all the way down so that way you can get it in here and then once it's up in there you can pull it to uh, to however long you need it this this really just helps keep the camera sturdy and keep this trim piece uh, tight so it doesn't rattle just like that and just like that so you notice how it's pretty loose right now once I push up against the window and retract that back instantly tightens it like that so that is the install uh, extremely easy and so there it is guys again looks totally factory your SD card slot there. Sorry about those lines. I'm uh, I'm using my LED flashlight and it's kind of messing with the uh, camera. I don't know. It's flashing on camera. Maybe it won't flash in the video, but uh, there is your power button and looks like your still photo button. SD card there. So looks really good. Looks super clean. Doesn't even look like there's a camera there. So I'm going to go ahead and drive around and uh, get some video footage of how it looks during the day and uh, also how it looks during the night so next thing we're going to do is set up the uh, app for this all right guys so once you download the fitcam x app we'll go ahead and hit add new camera and make sure that the vehicle is on because this camera only has power when the vehicle is on now when you go into your wi-fi you're going to look for a name that begins with a car or lhd so we're going to hit connect to fitcam x and then my Wi-Fi networks are going to pop up. Yours should too. I'm going to wait for that one to pop up right here, LHD. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And it should be connected. And I believe the default password is 1234567888. All right, so hit always connect, and now we are connected. So uh, the password is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I guess that's the default password. 
Um, now we'll go back. Once you have the Wi-Fi linked, uh, it should pop up with our camera. Camera connected, there we go. And there is some live footage. So just right there, I can tell that the camera quality is on par with the black view that I replaced this camera with. So I'm gonna do some driving around and I will throw that footage in the video. And then uh, I will also put in some night footage as well so you guys can see how it looks at night. Uh, but that is the gist of the install. And so I'm gonna go ahead and get some footage at nighttime and I will show you guys how it looks. So guys, this camera is amazing, especially for the price, 180 bucks. Uh, the video quality is fantastic. And the fact that it is totally built in, plug and play, just a clean install for the price is a total win. Uh, I'm expecting something like this that offers what this offers would be astronomically priced, uh, but they knocked it out of the park with the price and all the extras that you get with the camera. Not only is it a nice clean look, no wires completely plug and play, but they throw in that SD card and that USB adapter as well. Uh, overall, uh, just a fantastic product, uh, great video quality, and, uh, and the app works really good too. If you guys like this camera, uh, the link will be down below for the site. Like I said before, they have options for all sorts of different makes and models of vehicles, and they also have universal ones as well. So that's going to do it for this video, and we will catch you on the next one.